This is Lucas Markward from the TDN. We met up with track as his Pat Cummings today at Sha Tin and talked about a couple of Sunday's international races. He was nice enough to give us his picks for the Group 1 Hong Kong Cup. I think the local horses are really tough in the, in the Hong Kong Cup between Military Attack and Akeem Mofid. Uh, military Attack, a winner in Singapore, and he's basically been prepped for this run. So he's had two starts uh, locally, one in which he was sixth at 7-1, to one, and this is Hong Kong's horse of the year. So when you see a horse like that at 7-1 to one in their first start, I mean, you know this is truly a prep run. He ran third in the local prep here last time. And, he was only fifth in this race last year, but he's a different horse and, and, and really was incredibly uh, successful uh, in, the, in the early part of 2013 here and then went to Singapore and won. So I think military attack is going to be quite tough. And then the, the Hong Kong Derby winner from last year, Akid Mofid, is, is really uh, come into his own and ran a really good second in, in the local prep here. So I think those two are, are, are worthwhile. I think Sears to say is probably a play against. He's been here before. He hasn't run up to his standards he has in France. So I'm against Sears to say. And this is the same race with Little Mike. So I think Little Mike has to be considered uh, at least in a placing chance. Uh, 12 to 1 on most of the international books. Probably go off higher here because they really don't know what to do with the American form. So uh, I, I have to have a little flutter on, on Little Mike in the race just because. Cummings also shared his opinions on the Hong Kong Vaz. So we've got the Fugue as the 6 to 4 favorite in the Hong Kong Vaz, and you know, I think intent is really important. She, she only got out on the course for the first time on Thursday, and that was really, uh, it wasn't much work at all. I think six to four is too short. It's a wide open race, and it's chock full of international shippers. So I think the value is really there. You have Dunedin, who has won this race before, Red Cadeau, who has won this race before. Uh, a horse, though, that's flying under the radar to me is the German horse, Seismos, who was third in the Canadian International at Woodbine. He had a really good race in Germany earlier this year against Novelist, who uh, of course went on to, to great success in England uh, and has since been retired. But Seismus to me is a horse who covered a lot of extra ground on Woodbine. He covered about 45 feet more than the winner, uh, Joshua Tree, who of course loves Woodbine. And he was the first horse off the bridle in that race and really had to be pushed along. And he's a horse that you need to really get after. And Jockey Andrea Edzani has done that. He knows the horse. He's very familiar with him. So I think Seismos is a, is a bit of an outside chance uh, and probably uh, a really good value, I think, right now, at least at 16 to 1. Cummings also tackled the sprint for us. I think Lord Canelo was a real standout in the Hong Kong sprint. Won this race last year. And when you're winning a 1,200 meter sprint by three lengths or so, I mean, that's a huge margin in those types of races, especially against international company. Uh, he's been phenomenal ever since. Wins and seconds all, all uh, up and down his form line in Japan. But his track work here on Wednesday was absolutely phenomenal. And I haven't seen the horse in, in person before, but he got one crack of the whip and absolutely extended himself effortlessly to run a, a final 400 meter split in 21.4 seconds. Uh, it was, it was exceptional and I think they're really all running for second behind Lord Kenaloa, probably the most deserving favorite of the day here. That's it for now. We'll be back with Cummings to talk about the mile and the new installation of Trackus at the Hong Kong Tracks.